Hello my friend, it is I, Vadim. How are you doing? Today we are going to unbox ASRock Z690 Extreme Motherboard. This is just standard cardboard box with Extreme logo on it. Let's have a look at the accessories first. Get a disc with uh, all the drivers and also, well, what's inside? There is an ASRock sticker. There we go. All your documentation, quick installation guide, software setup guide, two SATA cables, standard, and two Velcro straps for cable management. Or actually, there's two more SATA cables, so that's four SATA cables in total. What sets this motherboard apart from the lower tier ones is that it has this GPU card holder bracket thing. It's a pretty handy thing considering that all the GPUs nowadays are so massive. Yeah, you need one of these. There's a key cap. So if you are really into this extreme motherboard, you can use this keycap to show off. And the last thing you get is four M.2 screws and two standoffs for the M.2. Now let's check out the motherboard itself. Oh, it is packaged very well. You definitely know this is not gonna get damaged in transit. Because look at that extra padding. This is beautiful. Check it out. Matte black color. Ooh, and there's also something to peel here. Let me do that real quick. Check out the pre-installed I.O. shield <laughs> with extra bracket and for additional support. I don't know. This is pretty cool. This shield right here is plastic, but 
these VRM heatsinks are massive and those are going to provide some very good cooling. Check it out. Let me just try and get an angle over here. Yeah, you see that? That is huge. And there's another one right there. Because this thing comes with a 13 phase power design. That's what you get if you want to install that i9-12900K. And overclock it, obviously, because why else would you get a Z690 motherboard? Well, uh, maybe for the extra features if you need them. But yeah, if you get one of these, <laughs> you know, you better overclock that CPU, at least a little bit. For the CPU power, it has two 8-pin connectors. In terms of memory, it features DDR4, no DDR5. Yeah, DDR4, 5000, dual channel. Plenty of fan connectors, a total of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For the front I.O., you get two connectors USB 3 and one USB 3.2 Gen 2 X2 for that extra speedy USB-C if you have it on front of your panel. You get two beautiful pre-installed heat sinks for the M.2 NVMe SSDs. By the way, it supports up to three NVMe SSDs and one M.2 Wi-Fi card, that, you know, little tiny one. Um, you know, this motherboard doesn't come with built-in Wi-Fi. There is a model with built-in Wi-Fi, but I believe it's not available in Europe. I haven't seen that. Uh, there is one in USA for sure. So, you know, if you want Wi-Fi, you may, uh, you may want to, you know, look into that. But, but you can always add your own Wi-Fi card over here and you get two, you know, holes for the antennas in the I.O. shield, so you're all covered. Underneath these heat sinks you get two NVMe M.2 PCIe Gen 4 slots, so you can install two Gen 4 NVMe SSDs and the third one is Gen 3. Additional storage can be had with one, two, and additional six, so that's a total of eight SATA ports. You also get your four RGB connectors, two here and two here. Uh, I believe that's three, yeah, uh, that's three addressable RGB and one just a regular RGB connector. There's just one PCIe Gen 5 slot and that's where your graphics card goes. It comes reinforced with a metal bracket. And there's another reinforced PCIe slot down below, but this is not PCIe 5. This is just the regular PCIe 4. Sound is pretty good on this thing. Built-in ALC1220 codec with optical connector and uh, obviously your 7.1 channel connection. I kind of wish that this thing had more USB connectors, but you know, four, five, five type A, one type C. I think it's, you know, decent for the modern regular user. I don't remember using more than three ports anyways. It has display port and HDMI built in. Quick flash for the BIOS to update your BIOS if you don't have a CPU. And not one, but two LAN connectors, a one gigabit one and 2.5 gigabit cable. Overall, this is a beautiful motherboard with the truly matte black PCB. Just have a look at that. It doesn't reflect much color. Not like some other, mm, you know, not decent uh, matte black PCBs. This is a very high quality. And the brushed aluminum looks very nice. It's a very cool motherboard.